What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I have another exciting video for you all coming from down in Florida. So this was day one of the trip. I hopped in the boat with Adam White of A-Dub Fishing and we fished Orange Lake. Now this lake had a very odd color to it which might be why they call it Orange Lake. I don't know. I had never fished it before but it was absolutely choked out with hydrilla. I mean absolutely choked out. So it definitely presented a lot of challenges as far as fishing it, but we did end up putting some fish in the boat. It was tough. It was a grind, but we found out one particular bite in kind of a specific spot and we got on them pretty quick. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Time, no. Like, it was all yeah, that's a much bigger hole right there. Like, that's how we call them at Yale is we found a hole, like a big hole. Yeah. And then we were just like stroking them in there. Yeah, I mean, this, but I mean. They were fishing is just like an open. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think it's definitely some, some fish in these little, in these little voids, I think, but problem is it's just it's not a ton of them oh no I, th I think it's worth fishing yeah so after searching around and running down the lake we found super super clear water that had a ton of hydrilla in it it was all the way up to the surface so we knew that fishing was definitely going to have its challenges we tried a bunch of different things we found some holes we pitched some crawls in them we threw the swim jig we threw the popper we threw the buzz bait we even flipped some mats but we were unsuccessful at getting a bite we fished down there for well over an hour and a half and just could not get anything going so we decided to go ahead move around the lake look around and see if we could find a more productive spot after we ran down the lake we found some muddier water we decided to start there and we ran into some fish home to me yeah all right let's see what do we want to throw here we're gonna make we're gonna make 20 pound fluoro do the work Probably need to, I'm gonna switch over to that swamp water blue though. The blue crawl in this in this watercolor, I want to go with something a little bit uh a little bit bluer. Got you. I don't know about this water color. Dude, it is it is weird. Yeah, this is a very weird uh watercolor. Like it ain't even muddy, like it's a I don't know what the heck it is. It just looks like yellow to me. Yeah. Oh 
get the outside of this ground. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, this very outside edge. I might run a chatterbait down it. Yeah. We're working our way. If I can even move. Good gosh. Just look like oh, I just had a bite. Did that was, you? That was a fish. That was a fish right there next to the boat. Huh. Hundred percent. Okay. So there's another fish right there, sitting on a little isolated clump. See? Oh yeah, I see him. That's what they're doing. They're sitting on this little isolated stuff. I dropped right in front of him. Yeah. Oh, he saw it. He's just not reacting to it very good. That might be why that chatterbait is like the deal. Yeah, it might get that reaction, uh -huh. reaction bite. Yeah, that was a bite. One bit it right there next to the boat. It couldn't have been grass. Look, there's a fish suspended. See him? Well, I thought it was. Yeah, it looked kind of yeah, like Yeah, I think it might be suspended. That was a bite. Was it? Yes. Oh, shit. Unless it's a little needlefish or something playing with it. But right. That's fish. 100%. Tell you what, you're throwing a chatterbait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the spinnerbait. Let's see if I can get bit on the spinnerbait. This is the first like hard edge we've got to fish. Look at the water temp difference too. Mm-hmm. 61. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Got, one? Got him. <laughs> Got him, baby. Caught a bass. Yeah. It paid off. I knew we could kill catch them over here. Yes. Get in here. You got yeah. Fish. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. <laughs> Only old chatterbait. It's a Christmas oh, my goodness. Y'all check him out. First Florida bass. <laughs> Right there, first one of the trip. I knew it. We're gonna let that guy go, got him on the chatterbait. Good deal. Well, all right. That was a good call. It was a good call. I knew if I had two bites over here, there had to be some yep. reason. Yep, yep, must be a group of them over here for yeah. some reason, for sure. There, there y'all, dude. That's a better fish. Yes. Let me get out of the way so you can swing him in here. Oh yeah, nice oh, one. He just had his mouth. Hey, hey, look how white he is. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, we are in them. Let's go. Here, come up here and take this troll motor. I got to change my good for a bit. Heck yeah. There we go. Thunder Cricket. Nice. That is like back to back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we might just sit here and catch 20. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we came through here the first time and A-Dub got two bites on the chatterbait as we were coming through and we went and fished all the way down another 100 yard stretch. Didn't get bit. And we just trolled back to this spot and we're both throwing a chatterbait and back to back cast. Back to back. And we've literally fished, what, three plus hours? And yes, <laughs> and then back to back. Nice. As soon as you were throwing yours back, I hooked, I hooked up with mine. I will take crazy. it. Good deal. I still see them just out there, just a touch. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we can probably just fan cast right here. And we'll probably just get into them. See, when I got bit earlier, it was over there. It was a little bit closer, yeah. right? Maybe they're just out here in a little bit deeper water. I wonder if it's like a something down there they're relating to, you know, like a yeah, I don't really shell know. bed or just a hard, hard bottom, sandy bottom or something. I thought that was going to be like a fourth rounder. Yeah. The way he loaded his up mouth, on it. His mouth was just open the whole time. That's mouth. right. He was having all that water in there. Yep. He felt big stuff. <laughs> you know, it could be the reason you had those bites. It could be that the fish that aren't feeding are sitting out here a little bit more. And then the fish that are feeding, they're pushing up on that bait. Could be. Or, or pushing, you know, back up a little shallow to feed. Mm -hmm. Potentially. 
Oh, the fish just blew up right there? Yeah. See, I have one of those bites right over there off that point where that one just jumped. Right. I figure we'll just work it. We'll work it back down. Oh, yeah. See if we can get another bite. I believe we're going to pick up another one, I think. Yeah. Hey, hey, this is better than anything we found all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Was that grass? That might That's be a ball of grass, yeah. Dude. What? Oh, <laughs> shoot. Made the change. First cast with a lipless. <laughs> Bro. I had a feeling. When you got a feeling, you just got to do you it. You got to go with it. You got to go with the feeling. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, sir. That's how we do it. Old red eye shad. Yep. I knew it. They're out here. There's bait fish, and we've caught two on a chatterbait. So I was like, I gotta try something different. Old lipless crate bait. <laughs> you didn't believe me when I said that. I, 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 I looked and I was like, like, there's no way. I was like, he's loaded he up. Like, there's no way. Oh! It's <laughs> <laughs> tangled up around my tip. He's loaded up. I was too excited. I'm just getting in a rush now. Dang. Catching some bass. It's been hours. We're finally catching some bass. That's exciting. All right, just made a switch over to a black and blue Thunder Cricket. I got a menace grub turned sideways on this bad boy. Got a gold blade. Might work good in this dirtier water. We will see. See if we can load up on one. And A-Dub, he's been switched over to the drop shot. <laughs> we'll see if we can make it happen. All right, y'all, it's been about an hour and a half since we probably caught those last fish, probably. I would say an hour and a half, so. We just moved down the lake, or back up the lake, depends on what you want to call it, but maybe down the lake. But anyway, we came down here, we're looking on the map. This lake is very flat and doesn't have a lot of different features, so we're just running around trying some different stuff. And we're gonna see if, uh, see if we can at least put another couple here in the boat, with one being a five plus. Yeah, that'd be nice. That is what we want. Oh, did you really? Yep. Ooh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, this looks like that spot we were just fishing very similar. Yeah. That is a group, is what that is. There he is. Got him. Yeah, good one too, dude. Big and. <laughs> oh, he is good, isn't he? That's a good one. Doing even better. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he's not too, he's big. Not too big. Like a three? Probably a three. He felt. No, nah, he. I don't even think he's a three, dude. He, he felt. His mouth open, he felt like the huge. <laughs> there we go. There we go, dude. Nice. Caught a bass. Got him on that black and blue chatterbait. Yeah, that's three different colors we've cut them on. Yeah. Right? I will take it. My second Florida bass of the trip. Pretty one. Thank you there, bud. We're looking for bigger, but hey, as much of a struggle bus as, it, as it's been, I will take it. Yeah. I will take it. Probably two cranks at a handle when he was on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, he loaded way out there. We're seeing so many fish on the graph and we're just throwing out here to them. We're not really like specifically targeting specific fish. We're just kind of staying out off this front of this like pads right here and kind of off the front of the flat. And we're just going along this edge casting and every once in a while we'll get a bite, which A-Dub just had, you just had a bite, what? Yeah. A couple minutes before that one I just caught. So maybe we're figuring something out.
Oh, oh two of them. You're doubled up, bro. You're doubled up. Doubled up. Oh. On the A-Rig. Doubled up. Yeah. Dude. Oh, right there, buddy. That's some solid ones, too. <laughs> yes, sir. Nice. You just made that color change, too. I actually, I didn't have any of the colors I wanted, so I just upsized. Nice. Freaking sweet. Oh, is my phone in that box? Grab it, yeah. Look at that, boy. That's sweet. That is sweet. Dude, look how they just freaking choked it. Like I <laughs> That was timely. That was. That was nice. Dude, that was that was legit. Stout, that was nice. Dude, I thought it was like a six. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like as soon as I saw him, I was like, dude, you doubled up. That's freaking sweet. Alright. I think I gotta throw another one out there. Just to see.